Stop me if you've heard this one before. Plant makes bitter toxin to ward off insect pests. Humans fall in love with natural pesticide. Absolutely cannot live without it. Coffee is, I'm gonna make assumptions, the most important plant in your life. But have you ever taken the time to think about coffee the plant? No, you haven't, you monster, because you're too concerned with your cup of ground bean juice. Coffee is its own freaking plant with its own complicated life. It's not just here to make your life worth living. Coffee is a little shrubby, maybe up to a small tree, native to certain tropical regions in Africa, but now obviously grown all across the world. Coffee produces caffeine so that little bugs won't want to eat it. And what's the most important part to protect? Babies. So you'll find the highest concentrations of caffeine in the little baby leaves, so fresh and tender, and in the seeds. The seeds of the plant are what we use to make our go-go juice. These plants produce flowers which get pollinated and then produce a little fruit. And inside the fruit, you will find the coffee beans. Should we taste them? Probably, yeah. That's like, you know, the fleshy fruit. It's just like that kind of slimy stuff. Oh, that's very yummy. Who would I be if I didn't eat all the plants? Oh, you know what it is? It's like coconut water flavored with papaya. Oh, it's lovely. I'm no agriculturalist, but I can tell you that coffee farming is facing a lot of challenges. We do a lot of inbreeding on crops and that makes them less resistant to diseases. And coffee's favorite disease really enjoys a warming climate. There's a lot more to think about than what kind of milk you like in your coffee. Want to learn more about how we get from plant to the ground bean juice? You can check out our newest short film, A Cup Named Joe, screening at our York Street location.